Well, good morning, YouTube. Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. Be sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. Today, we are going to start working on the Nissan Titan. I ordered new rotors and brake pads. So, I'm going to take the tires off and we're going to get ready for the new slotted and drilled rotors and an anti-dust brake pad and uh, I'm going to start with the rear. I've replaced my axle bearings and seals not long ago so everything should come apart really easy and uh, we'll do the back first and then we'll move to the front but I will uh, jack the truck up and of course remove the tire Everybody pretty much knows how to do that, so I'm not going to record all that. And then when we get to the brake part of it, we'll start recording again. Okay, we've got the tire off. And like I said, it hasn't been too long ago I had these off because I replaced my axle seals and axle bearings. You can look up in here and see that I've already replaced my shocks with Bilsteins. I did that quite some time ago. There's video on that. Uh, now, we have to pull these calipers off. And it's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts. One down here and then one at the top. And then that'll just slide off. We'll have to unclip this and we'll tie it off over to our spring and then this will just slide off and while I, I have this off I'll be able to check my in and out and up and down movement on my axle to make sure my uh, bearings are still doing what they're supposed to do which they should be and there are no leaks anywhere from the swapping all that out everything has stayed dry so the seal did a good job uh, but now I'm going to loosen these 10 millimeter bolts on the back of this caliper. Okay, I've got these loose. I'm just going to pull them all the way out and drop them in my bucket. So now this is off. Now you may have to take a screwdriver to pry this back a little bit. But uh, I'm going to set up the... Uh, tripod so I can kind of show y'all what I'm doing. Okay, so I already had this tire tool out so I think I can use it if I need it to pry on this. But there's a clip right here you have to push down on. And then I just take this up here and just push back. And once you get it pushed back all the way, you're going to pull up on it. And you're off. Now what I do is I go under the spring. Come across the top. And then I've got a little bungee this time that I'm going to bungee across there. Hold that thing up there. It don't take much. That'll stay there. Now, all we have to do is I do not have the emergency brake on because uh, if you had the emergency brake on, you ain't gonna get these off. But uh, I'm a, I do have the front tires blocked. And I knew this would be easy to come off. This has been long. I actually did emergency brakes. And uh, like I said, I did the uh, seal and bearing replacement on this axle. But these are, as far as I know, they're original rotors. I've never replaced them. And they're starting, you can see that there's a, a groove there. And you got a ridge here. All in all, for as many, it's 130 some thousand miles on this truck. All in all, if these are originals, 
they have held up really well. But they really look good. And I wasn't having any braking issues, and these things may have run several more miles. But I'm the type of person I'd rather just go ahead and kind of keep stuff replaced as I go instead of waiting for it to tear up. Now, since I got this off, and I probably should have used check this with that on the rotor on there, but I'm going to pull in and out. There is just a little bit of in and out movement. There's no up and down, side to side. Just a tad bit in and out. So unless I start having uh, issues, I'm not going to worry about that. It's not much at all. So when my new uh, rotors get in, basically all I have to do is push them up on there. Hopefully the emergency brake setting will be about the same. If not, we'll change it. Now I do have new brake pads coming. It hasn't been long since I replaced these brake pads. We want to take this outer one off first. just kind of push in on them to get them out of the slot and pull up at the same time. This is come out. This one's going to be a bugger. There it goes. And then it's going to, like I said, pop out. Pretty much one way in, one way out. And you can see that those have plenty of meat left on them. One side, they're both the same thickness, so they're not wearing more on one side than the other. And I said, I wasn't having any braking issues. I just wanted to go ahead. This one here just pops out. Just pull it towards you and pop it out. And you can see that it's still in good shape too, real good shape. Here's the two compared side by side. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna go find my brake tool. Okay, I'm gonna take my brake fluid cap, reservoir cap off. Brake fluid still looks clean. I'm just gonna set this here. And the reason I did that is so there's no pressure, back pressure on this. And I know the old style you do it that way, and I guess I just always have done it that way. And then I'm going to take this brake tool right here, and I'm going to slide it up. I'm going to have to back it up, but I'll slide it up in here and push this piston back. Okay, so I've got this up inside here. Now you can. If your pads are bad, and you're not going to reuse them, because I don't know if you mess them up or not, but you can pop a pad back in there so you don't have to screw up all the way up in there. But those are good pads, and I don't want to do no damage to them. So I just went ahead and went all up inside this piston here. And I just kind of wiped, you know, dust and stuff off that rubber boot, any dirt. And I'm just going to crank that thing back in, and it's going to be kind of hard to do. This handle's not the best thing to hang on to, but you can get it pushed back in there. So, you know, just do what you gotta do to twist it up in there. Put it tight there so I'm not going any further, but you can see it's pretty flush with this outer 
Peace. So that's ready for the new pads to be popped in. I'll go ahead and take this off. Just loosen it up. Pop it on out of there. So that one's ready for a new pass to come in. Go ahead and find my bungee. Bungee that back to the spring. Because I've still got a while to wait before my parts get here. So this side's ready to be reassembled. Uh, like I said, I pushed this piston back and uh, I'll just pop my pads in and that'll be ready to slide back on. But this side is ready to go. And I'll keep these pads just in case something happens and I need them. More than likely, I'll never use these pads again. While I'm waiting on my parts to get here, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean up the inside of this rim a little bit. Make it look a little better. Okay, I scrubbed on this one all I'm going to. I'm not after perfection on this. I just want it a little bit better. Some of that's not going to come off, but it's going to be good enough for me. Okay, now I'm on the driver's side. And I'm fixing to pull this rotor off and this caliper off, same way as I did on the passenger side. I've got a couple jack stands up underneath here and uh, also the jack. And while I'm underneath here, uh, I inspect my spring holders. I have read horror stories about these uh, rear uh, spring hangers coming loose or breaking off and the spring going up through the bed so every time I have access I check them out and I do plan on just go ahead and replacing them eventually but so far all the wells look good and hopefully I won't have this issue but it's just something on these early Nissan Titans that you have to keep an eye on so I'm gonna pull this off like I said the uh, same way as I did on the back or the same way I did on the passenger side uh, I'm not going to film all that, but uh, I just want to let you uh, see what I had here. We're grooved in there, and we're grooved in there. And that's the inner, inner edge there that the emergency brake clamps on to.
these are the old ones and these are the new ones everything matched up you can see these are drilled and slotted and they're coated with the zinc it's supposed to keep them from rusting up like these did they're labeled which side goes where I've already got the passenger side on it went on without a hitch the only thing that I did have to do oh and by the way these are power stop uh, brake kits and the only thing I did have to do on these brake pads this part right here that locks it into the caliper is spread it's really tight so I had to bend it in just a little bit to, to shove it up in there but it worked out fine and I had pre-lubed the factory uh, calipers when I did my seals on my axles so I'm not actually going to use the rubber boots and the grease uh, because like I said I plan on replacing my calipers anyway so uh, I just put the, everything that was already on the caliper stock back on there of course other than the new brake shoes but it is all on there now this one from the factory it does have some discoloration right here uh, but I'm not going to send it back uh, I imagine the first time I hit the brakes that's going to come off but other than that that was the only uh, problem I saw with them but we'll see how they they do it'll look good when I get my red brake calipers on there too with that